All right, guys, we have made it to Busco Beach, and let me show you what we got behind us on the trailer today. The party has arrived late as always. It's Friday about noon. We said we'd get here at 10, so we're only two hours late. That's not too bad. <laughs> so you might be asking what we're up to. We're over here at Busco Beach, and it's uh, Daisy Duke's weekend. There's chaos going on everywhere already. We have, we have only been here for like, I don't know, two, three minutes. But we've got the mud boat with us today because we've got to bring it back to the dealer. And uh, we got the two renegades with us in the front. So look. Hold on, we're getting an apple with that megaphone over there. Anyway, like I was trying to say, if you run a megaphone, you suck. Look at this operation we've got going on. Renegade pulling the mud boat on um, the trailer that's being pulled by truck. Anyway, we got a trailer on trailer with a boat. Now we're finally unloaded. Got everything ready. Got the cameras on the helmets. We got the Renegades ready to rock. We're gonna go explore around a little bit. We're gonna jump on the Renegades, go rip. We have not honestly ridden since what? Alabama? It has been over a month since we've ridden these Renegades. Yeah, right. um, yeah. Luke, the cameraman's gotta make it look better for you guys. Gotta make it a little darker. Uh, a there little darker, a little more shaded. Anyway, I'm sorry. I know you guys are gonna yell at me because I haven't posted riding and four-wheeler content. We have not done anything since Alabama and it's just been so dang hot out. Luke's been working, I've been working and any chance I do get to do something, I've been going out on the lake, wakeboarding or wake surfing or just chilling because it's a lot more comforting than uh, 95 degrees with a thousand cc motor between your legs. We are doing no waders today, it's shorts for today. Yeah, it is shorts, gator waiter boots and uh, some trunks. <laughs> we have not ridden in freaking what feels like forever. The only bad thing about riding four-wheelers in the summertime is it's so un freaking godly hot out. Okay. The fan is on and just spray me with water. Alright. Hey! Stop spraying! I can't see! <laughs> Luke just got sprayed with his fan. See, I was trying to wheelie that way, not that way. Alright, let's not kick off the key this time because we did that last... Oh, okay. Nice. See, that's where I want to be, right there, just chilling in the water. Alright, here we go. We're going to come in right behind. I didn't come here to stay clean. I think I'm stuck. Oh my god, my ears are ringing. Oh my god, see how bad this camera is. How bad is my camera? Huh? How bad is my camera? Not terrible. I just held it wide open the whole time. I was like, well, I came here to get muddy. I definitely dug it out and made it harder for Luke. Come on, you can get it out. I know, I can. I feel like I can. Just how much effort? How much effort do I want to put in? That last bit's going to give him a, give him a fight. Y'all hold it wide open. There you go, let her eat. <laughs> I definitely just dug that all out. There we go. Just get absolutely covered on these. There you go. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> on the OG Outlander, too! Is that, so is that an 800 or an 850? It's a 650. She shits and gets. You got some work done to that thing. No, just clutches. Just clutches? Alright. My man is scooting on the fucking 1000. I thought you had a bottle at first. You got stop motor. There you go. Ah, uh, shit. I thought I cracked a piston on that, and I thought I was getting ready to build that motor, but it ended up being a broken spark plug. I kept saying, whenever I sink it, and like, really f*** it, I was gonna build a motor, and I have yet to sink either of them. I gotta figure out if we're pulling Luke out, or if he's fighting this. So what happens when you're the first one through the hole in like, probably two or three weeks. Yeah, cover him in mud, not me. Why don't I get this kind of assistance when I'm stuck? I get stuck, everybody just looks at me and goes, oh, you're a dumb we're going in that Luke over here got the freaking football team over here pushing them through the hole. Holy shit! Ah, oh, that did not go at all as planned because I was trying to soak him and I hit a hole. Hey, Luke, don't knock the key off this time. Yeah, I'm gonna try and keep it on this time. You know, it would 
probably help if my winch was on the bike instead of riding around with it down here. I guess how muddy are you trying to get? I don't know. So in a few videos ago we were out here. Went to the rope swing, which was kind of lame because the water wasn't very deep. So we're gonna go check that out, see how stuck we can get, and see what the river looks like. And then we're gonna stick the boat in the river. Because if you guys didn't know Busco, what makes it so special, it's an island. So there's a river that runs all the way around it, so you can't really like sneak into Busco because you know it's surrounded by water. But the cool thing is if you're on the water, you can drive all the way around Busco and like when you are riding here, you can go down to the river and swim. If you guys watched it a few videos ago while we were here, you'll know what I'm talking about. Fuck, it's too dusty. <laughs> Luke, I know you regret that move. You want a hug? No. Come on, give me a hug. What are these supposed to be? Seats? Or bonfire material? Oh, they're benches. Oh, there are some shitty looking benches. <laughs> Try it! I mean, I made it so I can pull you out. Okay, you're trying that. Oh. Hell yeah! I respect that. That was a good pull. I thought you were just trying to cross. I'm like, that's a weird angle to cross. And then you just kept in. I'm like, okay. <sighs> How hot is this bike? 169. You have a Renegade. You got to get you a ride kit. Hey, since you went first last time, I'll, I'll go first this time. You got, you depth checking this one? Oh, he's going for the long haul. Oh shit. Yeah, he's not making it. Oh, okay. He'll make it to almost all the way. Oh, oh. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, I have my eyes closed when I let off. Oh, that's, that's salt. Look at that clay. We'll see if I can go further. So his pull wasn't as long as mine will be. Oh, we got it. Oh yeah. I did not think you were making it. I can't believe I made it. Dude, I let off like in the middle of it cause I couldn't see anything. Like my eyes were shut. <laughs> right by Luke. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, that's a picture right there. That is awesome, dude. This, this stuff. Look at this. That is crazy. <laughs> Considering I pulled him out pretty easy, he wasn't stuck that bad. All right, we had to do some mic check. Or not mic check, uh, battery changes. All right, let's go through this one more time. All right. Lottery! Oh, easy. Oh, Luke fell on my rods. You got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't think you were making that. You're good now. gonna hit that pocket right there and get stuck. Ah! Oh, so close. Luke, don't, you're gonna dig yourself down. Let me get the tiger tail on. <laughs> that ain't happening. Ready? There we go. Remember like three seconds ago when I said, we'll see who gets stuck first? Well. What do you mean? My foot was right here. Oh, oh, and your foot went on the exhaust? Yeah. That's rough. Where are your shoes at? Oh, okay. Your camera's very dirty. That was cute. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, Luke. <laughs> well, that one just goes on by rivets. You just gotta watch. We gotta zip tie your headlights out of the way. Yeah, I thought you were about to for a second. Before it gets dark tonight, I want to clean them so we can ride around on clean units. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go get in the truck and take the boat to the river. Oh, I didn't put the green plug in. <laughs> yeah, we're sinking the boat. Oh. All right. So if you have no idea what's going on, if you guys watched the last video, Performance East hooked us up with like a rental, basically on this mud boat. And we took it all around in the river, or the lakes by my house. And since we were coming to Busco, I had to bring it back. I figured we might as well go play in the river. So this is the mud that me and Luke were literally just playing in two seconds ago. And then we're gonna come up on the road swing up here. Oh, we gotta go this way. I wish we had this during mud, or like mud bash. Mud bash, this was all flooded. We could have drove all the way to the party barn in the boat. so tired but we have enough gas to get back <laughs> gas cans about to be out gas cans on the center okay we're gonna go back now because we're about to run out of gas <laughs> i got five gallons of gas yay Let's see how much gas is left <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We could have made it a little further down the river, but we definitely were not making it all the way. So I'm gonna throw up like a Google image of our relation of where we're at compared to where we're going. And then you'll see like what the dam is. Ironically, where we stopped is right where we're parked at. I walked up to Joe's camper and stole one of his gas cans. We're on the road again. Water. We're on the water again. There you go. All right, so we just got done ripping around. Anyway, we got done ripping around on the boat, uh, but the boat did great. Except for the part where we almost ran out of gas. But me and Luke got some food, took a little bit of a break in the truck. The sun's kind of going down, so before the sun goes down, since I don't have my side-by-side -side with me, I'm gonna go wash the Renegades up a little bit so that uh, we can ride some clean units tonight. Try to stay out of the mud, get some B-roll film, see what's going on. Joe, you ready to ride finally? Oh, Joe's on the phone. Business calls, baby. All right, guys, hear me out. If you want to see a real skimming channel, real mud hitting channel, real fuller building channel, check out out he's got it all on his channel we don't do that stuff around here we only copy people around here always make sure you like and subscribe this video and we will uh see y'all tomorrow yeah.